Hey guys, it's Ethan from OK Adventure here. In this video, I'm going to show you some different hole designs for swarm traps and also what I'm doing differently this year and kind of testing out for swarm traps. So this is my traditional hole right under the lip so rain can't get into the hole. Uh, everything else is set up exactly the same with all three of these. I'm doing two per different hole design. Uh, same setup with the four holes around there and the four holes around the lip for air to move throughout. The only difference is the hole is here on this one. I'm going to try a hole on the bottom piece. After thinking about this, even if rain got in here, it would come out these holes on the bottom and also bees would be coming down and coming out of the lip. So they, they wouldn't drown in this design. Uh, and then the last design, which is the hole is completely on the bottom of the bucket, which would prevent all rain from even getting into the hole. So we have three different designs here where I'm putting the holes. All of them are done the same with beeswax around the holes for bees to cling on and beeswax in the lid and also in the bucket. Again, bees do not like plastic and the beeswax allows them to grab on. If you ever have bees and you put a complete plastic frame in it, they'll just start putting wax all over it because they can't walk on it. So. So I have three designs. I did two of each design, but there's one toss up. I, I found this bucket and it didn't have a handle on it. So this will be the only bucket out of the six that will be on the ground. And this will also test if a bucket up high versus a bucket of ground is picked more often between the two of these and also between the rest. If this is the, if this one works, I'm gonna probably just do all my buckets this way. You no longer have to hang them up or worry about people seeing them. All you gotta do is stash them in behind a tree and tie them up or down in the grass and tie them up. So I found every one of these buckets on the ground. This is also a, this is a multi-test process. For one, only thing I bought out of these were the lids. Every bit of the wax and propolis came from my hives. Um, and all these buckets were either found on the ground or uh, in the trash. With, and they're different styles of buckets. So this one is a, um, a soap bucket. These two are oil buckets and some more soap buckets. And this one I'm assuming is probably a soap bucket or detergent bucket as well. So in, in these oil buckets, what I've done with every one of these buckets I found is that I did a, a double wash with some detergent and I poured detergent in it, washed it, poured it out, detergent, washed it, poured it out before I waxed them. So these didn't have any residue of any oil in them. I mean, they smell slightly like oil. So again, this is a test to see if, if these will even catch bees, the bees will move into them. So you're probably wondering what these are. These are my buckets from last year. Anybody who watched that video knows the front face of this bucket sitting on a tree. Uh, this is the one that had caught the swarm and that's where they had built it. All I did with this one is wax the top. The inside is still exactly the same, just waxed a little bit more on the front. And uh, this is the bucket from last year that never caught bees. And I mean, it's, it still smells of, of the swarm lure and everything. This one I could probably just put out in the woods. Uh, so that's a little bit, we'll also do a, t a couple tests on that. Cause I know you guys haven't seen these before. Uh, this is nothing fancy. I just kind of came up with the design just off of my head from raising bees and, and seeing what they do with plastic and why they won't move into a bucket. Also it's cheap, you can find them anywhere. I mean like I found six in a span of a week. Cleaned them up, set them up. You go buy this, I think it's $14. $18 been on the bucket and how much price it is for this whole setup. So I already have one out in the woods, which makes out a total of two, four, six, eight, nine traps right now I'll have once I get these put up. This will be a three part series. Uh, part one is showing the buckets. Part two will be where to put these buckets at. Uh, location, what you're looking for, um, and again, this will be a test on where exactly on the ground or up high or on a fence post, where we're going to catch bees at, and that will be part three. Part three will be the complete conclusion of this 
which will be which buckets are the best, which ones I caught swarms in. Um, yeah, and going on to next year, that will be all wrapped up in conclusion. That's all I got.